I think he loved the cars more than the drivers because the cars were loyal to him and the drivers very often weren't. Mr. Ferrari always maintained that his team number one would be the driver who performed best last Sunday, which tended to keep them on their toes. By setting them to some extent in competition with each other, by very often having five drivers for four cars, it would ensure that they were performing at their maximum the whole time for him. I think there would have been quite a lot of culture shock for Mike Hawthorne and Peter Collins going into the Scuderia Ferrari where they would have been surrounded by very competitive playboy drivers. I had dinner with Ferrari and we were talking about racing as we usually do. And all of a sudden he said, but you know, the drivers will always go to the factory which produces the fastest cars. And I was just about to protest my loyalty to Ferrari when I realized that I would go somewhere else if they produced a faster car. There's no loyalty to the factory. There was a colored, embittered relationship between Fangio and Mr. Ferrari. And so when Fangio left Ferrari at the end of that World Championship winning season to go to the rival Maserati team, the only person surprised was Mr. Ferrari. 